Anything look different behind me? And with my buddy's boat today. Got a friend of mine came down from a long way up north and we're going to catch some big Chickamauga bass today. Hopefully I catch some that's actually big instead of what I normally catch, which is all two pounders. It's going to be fun. We're going to go, I'm going to sit back, see how he would break this lake down. So that's what we're doing today. Let him run the show. I'm going to sit back, try to catch me a giant. This probably be the day I catch a 10 pounder without me putting any thought into it. The campground's on? Yeah, it's on this side. Yeah, okay. Y'all catch a bunch in there? We're gonna keep him so the female pulls up.
don't know if y'all can see that wacky rig down there, but look at that. All that's in there is a hook point. Like, literally nothing. Good one, though. Up there. Bloody tail. Yeah. They're on bibs out of that stump. Okay, so now that y'all seen the video, basically we started off going back into some to some backwaters, fishing some stained water, fished that for a while, and y'all saw me catch that one on a jig under a dock, and uh, that was just standard. Put the jig on, under a dock up to a little, there was a log washed up beside the dock. Pitched up to it, pulled it over the log, got to the bottom, caught a fish, and then we went to the back of some big flats where the fish were spawning in, and this was right after MLF. MLF had just left, and we went to the back of one of the major um, creeks on the lake went to a stump flat and we started throwing a wacky rig around them stumps and uh caught a bunch of fish doing that um actually i didn't get a lot of them on video somehow i thought i got everything on video but i didn't we probably caught three or four more that i didn't get on video but uh it was a fun day we caught them throwing a wacky rig up them stumps isolated i there was a lot of people that i told to fish like that actually around that time because it was a spawn and it was a major funk there always is in april what, what normally happens on these rivers and lakes are the current rips all winter usually and it stays kind of stained and then the summer the water starts to warm up fast the current always kind of drops they start to raise the lake up and they really start to move to the bed so it's kind of hard to give them to bite so you almost always have to switch to some kind of a worm presentation or some kind of soft plastic or something like that a swim bait so we elected to go with the wacky rig throw it around a lot caught some fish on it there was that one fish y'all saw me catch off bed it was actually uh had a big female with it probably close to a six pound female with it five or six pound female and when we pulled up the female was in the bed so i let and we messed with it for a while she left the bed so we kept trying to catch that male finally i caught the male put him in the live well came back and checked on her two or three times one time she was in the bed and i actually made three or four casts to it and she never moved and then i hit her in the head with the bait trying to make her react and she left so that was a issue on my part but it was a fun day probably could have caught that female if i really you know kept on circling back to it just get every, left after 15 minutes and then gave her 15 minute breaks and came back and came back she probably would have set up and i would have eventually caught her but hey we, we didn't want to do that if it wasn't turn we probably would have tried it more but had a fun day as always i know this, this was a different angle of camera so if y'all like that yellow tech stick style in the back let me know uh I'm probably gonna start experimenting more with chest cams and you know, I don't really like the yellow tech angle that much, but if y'all do, let me know. As always, leave a like, leave a comment, hit that subscribe button. Appreciate it, guys. We're off the Table Rock in two days. So when you watch this, that's where I'll be.